Yeah, dude, I had to come over here to uh, the, the coffee station. <laughs> coffee station? Coffee station. Yeah, we're right, right over here at, uh, uh, what are we at, the store factory? The warehouse. Yeah, so we came over here. So I'm going to have to give them a shout out and all that other stuff. Oh, for sure, man. Oh, for sure, man. So oh, uh, check it out. You can actually add some people. Yeah, I don't know how that will work yeah, on, your, on, your end, on, your, on your end, but uh, everybody's joining us right now. This is, uh, right of course, now. Chronicle uh, Coffee with Frank Scream, and my next guest is San Martin Rodriguez. Rodriguez, excuse me. Uh, he's a local cat from Arizona. Hey, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us who, who you are, what you're about, real quick. What's up? What's up? This is San Martin Rodriguez, and um, from Prescott, Arizona. Born and raised here. Um, I do a lot of things like out here, and uh, I try to represent the music community as much as possible. Right My favorite genre is actually reggae rock music. Go figure. But uh, that's what I roll with. I own a couple businesses here in Prescott. Um, one is uh, Some Butte Hand Wash and Detail. And then I also own another one, which is P-Town Productions, where that's how I, I utilize it to uh, uh, do some um, shows out here. And then I also uh, have a new brand that just came out, which is uh, Locals Only Wear Co. Uh, something new, something pretty, uh, pretty uh I think pretty cool, so we're gonna get to that right now for sure. Oh yeah, dude, that um, yeah, that's kind of where I stumbled upon you was the local locals only, um, through through a friend of ours, I guess in common, Adam Wallace. I'll give him a shout out. Uh, I'm trying to get him lined up for an interview actually, and uh, I like the idea of somebody putting out the Arizona stuff out there, and we see a lot of the California symbols, and everybody's rocking the SoCal, and it's good to see uh, something that's Arizona based. So we like that a lot. Um, so why don't you tell people where we could find, or what to expect from that, or where we could find you, uh, as far as your whatever your shirts got. I'm gonna throw up some pictures as we're talking, of uh. Yeah, some, no, sir. So go ahead and just spit. It. It's kind of funny that you said Adam Wallace because he's actually the designer of um, one of the the designs. Oh shit. He's, he's uh, yeah. Go <laughs> <No> figure. <laughs> there you go. Small world. This is something that I I worked with. So. Nice. Um, uh, his, concept that will be not just basically based off of Arizona local in general as far as the United States I want to and farther than just on the borders I'm born and raised in America I want to represent it with heart and respect that's kind of like the tag that I have I want everybody to have a misconception of what local only means it's really honestly not based for people that are born and raised in the place that they are but people that are actually in a place feel their home. They feel like they have a place. They feel like they have a uh, a feeling that, that they feel like they're part of a local community. Tight. It's all about respect and, and admiration towards the place that you live. Have heart. You know, respect that. Your place around you. The people that are living in that. It doesn't matter where you're from. California, Texas, Hawaii, you know, just name it. It doesn't matter where you're from. Just respect the area and enjoy it. I like that. So you don't have to necessarily have to be a born native here, but you could be a native through the heart that you show for where you're at, right? That's what you're trying to get at right there. For local yeah, zone. Man, it's just a, make, it, make a family. There you go. It, it's actually kind of the concept of uh, start a store where I be able to go ahead and have a base of, of local community wear, local community clothing, music, whatever it may be, a storefront where they can go ahead and sell the stuff out of that store. But yeah. um, it, it, the shirt came out in first. Um, I had to push up it out this summer. But uh, the shirt came out first as far as a, uh, a new concept. I could go ahead and expect. And my, my mindset behind it, how to store it in each city, Cal California, you, you name it. You go to Texas, you'll have it. But we could change the silhouette behind. I got you. Change, we could change the silhouette behind every one of these. There you go. See how it says Arizona on there? Yeah. Web, you know, we can change that. Just take that state out and put your state in it. Or we can go ahead and your area code anywhere you want on there from the state of Arizona. Okay. 928 Okay. So it, it's, a, it's about expanding. It's about uniting as one. It doesn't have to stop here in America either. We can just keep on moving it. But once again, I'm a small guy. Small. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get big, man. I'm trying to get big. 
but it only takes a community of people that want to respond to what I have to offer. For sure, man. And um, I think you got a good a good bridge there, especially with the music and, the, and it hit whatever the type of music may be. That's a, you got a good uh, starting point there, and you know what I mean, because you can bridge over with that message that you're trying. You're starting out with, hey man, it's, wherever you're at, you're a local, but we're all we're all locals. Yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. I mean? we're, all, we're all part of a community. Yeah. And, you know, if we all unite as one is and, and try to focus on, you know, what the real meaning of life is, you know, the, the whole local doesn't mean the place is. Expand your mind. Make your mind be more uh, uh, open to whatever else is out there. That's my concept. People are already bashing me by saying, oh, you're just labeling it as you personally here in your own town. And, I, and, I, and they don't understand where I'm coming from. I'm, uh, what they used to call me, Mr. Get Along Game. I used to get along with everybody, and there was a reason because I didn't see no differences. I didn't see no difference beyond color, race, creed, religion. Right. It was just more just bringing it all together. And so when you listen to the word local, expand your mind. Let's go to uh, the world as far as local. That's where I want to go with it. But once again, I'm a small guy in a small world. It's, it sounds like you got big ideas, though, so that sounds pretty good, man. Um, and I'm looking forward to copping me some swag, dude. So uh, you'll have to let everybody know where they can come find you. Uh, wh where you're at right now is like a web page or where, where they can order something, where they can come if they live in town or whatever, Prescott, uh, wherever shops you may have lined up in Phoenix or something. Yeah, yeah. There's, um, there's a store here. We have uh, the Rocious Vapes in Prescott, Arizona, located on Miller, Avenue, Miller uh, Valley Road. Right across the street from Taco Dunn's. Um, I'm trying to get some uh, places out in Prescott Valley right now, but I'm focusing on this one because I'm trying to help them out. Uh, you could obviously get it online at localsonlywearco.com. You could also get it on Facebook page where I have many Facebook pages. You can find me on San Martin Rodriguez. You could find me in Locals Only Wear uh, on Facebook, Locals Only Wear Co. Um, you name it, man. Just type in the box. Yeah. I mean, my, my, my little nephews are here right now. I got the other concept right here. <laughs> yeah, I threw up uh, some of the pictures there from your locals only on the Facebook. Oh, yeah. So it, it, I do got the shirts coming out. I mean, we could do actually any color or whatsoever. Oh, oh, yeah, we got the gray, the heather gray up in there. I like that. What made you, uh, is, the, is the, the lipstick marks, is that, are you gearing that towards whoever or is that more for the females? I'm just curious. It was it was more or less for the females. It was the concept. I was like, hey, we need to get a female logo, and so we ended up getting a female logo. Yeah. And this is uh, this is <laughs> what it came out to. And it's kind of crazy. I don't know if you can see it, but the the heart, the heart right there is like kind of based oh, as shit. a Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like based as a Marilyn Monroe, but okay. it's also a ge geographically located over Yavapai County because that's where the heart's at. You know, that's where my heart's at. <laughs> That's sick, dude. So, so there, there was some meaning behind this, and on the other one was diet, diet tap juice. Diet, I don't know if you can see it right there. Is it in there? Uh, it, we can see, but the the there you go, there you go. Yep. Yeah, there you yeah. go. That that was also uh, 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 on our on our Arizona seal. So right. The Arizona seal is on there, so it's um. Yeah, I, I, we put some thought into it, but like I said, you know, shout out to Adam Wallace. He's actually the guy that designed one of them, and then uh, Tony, he designed the other one uh, from Phoenix. Is actually the one that's been printing my shirts out. He's been helping me out a heck of a lot, man. Sweet, yeah, hell yeah. Um, so, but you got a pretty good catalog going on right now, or, or you just got a few? I mean, I know you showed us some stuff there, but is there more stuff available online, or are you just you know, kind of working on building it up? Yeah, I, like I said, I have to start off small, man. I don't want to just start throwing everything out there. Then everybody's going to be like, oh, I want this, I want that. Man, I got a lot of things to do in life before I have to figure out what kind of, you know, this and that. So I wanted to focus just to get my name out there. I do have concepts already pending up uh, behind the scenes. Um, I have uh, locations out in Phoenix that I'm trying to work on. Uh, I, just this yesterday, I've been trying to get Matt Rich from Tower 98.3 to uh, get me in there. Yeah. On the radio station, and that's where you you found me because I, I you know I told everybody to blast his name and <laughs> and actually right before I was getting online with you, he messaged me and says, hey man, I got you on 
waiting list, all right? Just keep on pushing the thing up. So, And then you came at me, and I was like, how oh, perfect if we can go ahead and uh, record this and um, Sweet, make man. it work. Sweet, man. I'm glad that uh, I get up at you first, though, because now it looks like you'll be busy. I was going to ask you about that how that worked out, but you just pretty much laid it out there. How did that start, though? Were you campaigning yourself, or did you just see an opportunity, and you kind of just went at it? or? No, I actually uh, did some work with uh, Matt Rich back in the days. I brought him over here to a car show, and ever since then we had a, a fairly cool relationship as far as talking to each other. You know, he's he's always on 98.3 representing, and, and I seen that he did his new show, which was uh, uh, Ground Zero, uh, a new show that he, him and a bunch of the DJs uh, created that will help out, bring out youngsters out of Arizona that's trying to do something. It's, um, I started seeing that. I was like, get me in, Rich, get me in. So uh, finally I said, hey, I need to uh, get his attention a little bit more than I have been. And uh, that's where that came about. And so uh, I spammed him and I said, hey, sorry, bro. I typed him up and like, no worries. But yeah, you're the first to hear about it, man. Yeah, you're the first to hear about it. That's awesome, man. I'm glad I'm glad I could share that with everybody. Hopefully we get that out there and a lot of people see that. And then, um, so Zach, that's going to be on the radio. You don't have a time set up for that, or is it still work in the works there? Uh, the date will be set uh, hopefully soon. I, he, he says waiting list, but okay. you know, I feel I'm patient, but yeah. I got to do things, and I'm going to keep on doing it. He, like he said to me, you know, he's like, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. You have to. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see the uh, motivation in you. Uh, I don't I don't know you from Adam we just met right now but I can see your desire and what you're what you're trying to achieve I appreciate that and I try to do that myself you got to make a name for yourself man we got to go after what you want and what you want to achieve is all on you you know what I mean so I see that and I appreciate that uh, shout out to yourself man for having that that's that's not, not a lot of people have that inside you know what I mean so we're uh, everybody, at, actually everybody can have it I mean like all you got to do is put your heart into it that's yeah. it well, we're glad to see that you got some heart here and we're in Arizona and we can show uh, some Arizona love, man, because it's all about that. Uh, locals, man. Yep. We like that. Yep. But you're a local everywhere. Remember that. Exactly. <laughs> I do appreciate your time, man. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to hook up with you. Um, definitely looking forward to going ahead and pushing it out for sure. All right. Um, is there anything else you wanted to touch on? I mean, we, we hit the shirt line pretty heavy. You got the uh, upcoming – uh, 98.3 thing. Was there anything else uh, you want to take opportunity to talk about uh, your car wash detailing business or anything like that? Or oh man, everything everything is good left for sure. I think the only shout out that I probably do deserve is to you know, give my Lord and Savior the love and, and respect because uh, without Him I wouldn't be here for sure. All right. Well, man, uh, we we appreciate you stopping by, man, taking the time out to talk with us. Um, hope to hear big things from you. I'm sure we will. Uh, I wish you were in Phoenix, but I love Prescott, so you just give me another reason to come up there and see you, man. And when I do, I'll, I'll hit you up for sure at Voracious Vapors. Is that correct? Voracious Vapors. Voracious Vapors. Got to get it right, man. All right. All right. Appreciate it, man. Hey, man. Thank you. We appreciate you stopping by, brother. You have a good uh, evening and whatnot, man. Right. Don't be a stranger on Thanks. Later. Get at you later. All right. All right, that was pretty awesome. So that was the dude, San Martin Rodriguez. And uh, that was our first Skype interview. So, uh, yeah, you guys stop by the page, Locals Only Wear Co. It's uh, based out of Prescott, Arizona. That's up north from me. Beautiful spot that uh, everybody likes to visit. It's like 20, 30 degrees cooler. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, check him out, man. He's got some shirts. He's working now on uh, some bigger things, it sounds like. And, of course, here comes my kids. So I guess I'm going to have to cut this short. Uh, but, yeah, stop by the Facebook page. Um, look for him up online. Uh, get at the dude. Uh, we appreciate the, the the love and the and the drive that that dude has for what he's doing. So check him out. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. And I know it's been a long time since the last last show but uh you know big things coming hey shout out to adam wallace you're next buddy <laughs> thanks for coming back to chronic coffee with freaker scream peace out we'll see you next time i've been waiting for so long i've been waiting for so long So long